It takes a few hands to track the history of this sport. Go! Where the power of a locomotive comes from the power of muscle, sweat, and stamina. I'm hit it! Creating a blurry speed, making even the local commute quite envious. I've done railroad work for 48 years. One day, Gary Putman turned his job into a hobby and sport, understanding there was something special about steel grinding on steel. If we could get them on a hand car, we could hook them. And once we got them hooked, they're around for a long time. I've been doing it since 1998. Kermaine Kaufman understands the obsession. It is totally addicting. It's like, I've always told people it's like running a 26-mile marathon in 30 seconds or less. And Kermaine wasn't Set. kidding. Oh. Oh. So to get one of these hand carts going, it's not very easy. It takes a lot of leg muscles at the start, but once you get your momentum going, you can see the arms and shoulders kick in and we're beginning to pick up a lot of speed and these things well they go as fast as 28 miles per hour i think a person needs to be pound for pound strong using your legs your back your arms everything and it's all out exertion for that period of about uh, 35 seconds an all-out sprint as the Folsom handcar derby plods along east bidwell street celebrating its 20th anniversary this weekend Gary Putman hopes the sport can stay on track for 20 more. It's just something I enjoy and just kept with it. And I know if I quit, the sport will quit. So I keep going.